Hello, I'm Noel, this is Antonia from Boxtail Soup Theatre Company and we are here back at the Everyman Theatre in Cheltenham um, performing the first few shows this week of our, our Gulliver tour. So we did our first show on Thursday yep. and then we had one last night, we've had one this afternoon and we've got our final performance here this evening. Um, it's been really nice not just to get back to doing the show which has been lovely because obviously we haven't performed it since Edinburgh so it's really nice to get back in front of an audience with it and come back to the show um, but it's also nice as you may be aware we we did some R&D for the show absolutely ages ago and we came here to film some of those first ideas so there's a, a video a vlog from quite some time ago where we were sat right in this very spot yeah, exactly. um, talking about the kind of the ideas and the stuff that we'd come up with with a cardboard set behind us and oh, we still have a cardboard set behind us it's just been covered and made to look a bit more beautiful than the prototype one yeah so it's really nice to be back here again to kind of be sitting here and doing the full show and and uh have had a lovely reaction to it and yeah to sort of have some sense of uh completion closure yeah, on the whole thing like that. Yeah. we've got a sold out show tonight so that's very exciting we're looking forward to that and uh, it's a space here where we we normally in the studio most things are performed the other way around so when we did our christmas shows last year you'll see some vlogs from last christmas that will have this space uh, in a different configuration so it's it's sort of long and thin this space but actually normally you work with the audience on the length of the wall rather than the width of the wall mm. And, and that actually increases the capacity very slightly. So certainly for Christmas and things, a few seats each each performance when you're doing 60 something shows makes a big difference across the run, yeah. which is why they wouldn't really normally do any long runs like that in this configuration. But actually it's quite nice in this way. Um, we might try and, I don't know if you've got any footage, but we might try and just show you what the auditorium looks like this way round. Yeah, I um, will. And it, 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 in fact, the audience, when they come in, they sort of say, oh, I quite like it when it's this way, when it's this way round. It feels a little bit more, I suppose it feels more conventional theatre-wise. Yeah, when you, well, I think when you, you're right. When you come into the space and it's set up the other way, it feels quite unusual. It does, because yeah, Because it's definitely. very, you know, it's very wide. And there's something actually really lovely about it when it's set yeah. up the other way. It's got this very intimate feel. It still very much has that this way around as well. You, you know, the front row are pretty much involved in the show, aren't they? So uh, we have to be careful not to trip over their feet. Um, but it's been nice to do. We've never done a show performance-wise, we've obviously filmed the R&D, we've never performed a show in this configuration in the theatre before, and it's been nice, it's definitely, it was worth doing, I think, yeah. that this, this show suited being this in this direction. Yeah. And it also uh, was necessary, and hopefully will pay off, because we've got some uh, exciting plans for, for Gulliver that we're uh, doing a couple of things with here next week, and we won't go into that too much now, I think we'll tell mm -hmm. you about that. Um, next week once we've once we've actually sort of set those things in motion but it's going to be an interesting experiment um, yeah so we're we're doing a few things this way around with Gulliver over the next couple of days after we finish this performance here tonight and then after we finished here we're off to the Swallow Theatre which is uh, I think is it Scotland's smallest theatre it's yeah. the most beautiful little space um, and we haven't been there for years because the last time we went was pre-Covid so it'll be really lovely to go back there. There's a beautiful little cottage on the site where you stay and everything. It's, uh, it's very quaint, it's in the middle of nowhere, but it, they get a wonderful audience. We always have lovely shows. It's gonna be a little bit of a squeeze for this show in that <laughs> space, but we'll make it work. It's a good job that we've rehearsed it in our studio yes. because actually I think the stage space it's there about the same. Yeah, is yeah. about the same size. So we're just gonna have to be careful not to knock into each other. Yeah, at least we've had a bit of practice. Exactly, and we've got, so we've got three shows there, and then we're actually then back down this way then towards the end of the week as we come to Ledbury to do The Wind in the Willows and Gulliver and then home to Kent for the final performance of the week uh, The Wind in the Willows there so it's, it's all busy uh, lots of driving around again but it's it's been nice to get back like you say it's been really nice to get back to the show yeah. it's nice to be out on tour again yeah it's nice to be out performing it's nice to be doing the show and it, it, the lovely thing is that you always feel now the um, the benefits of having done that run in Edinburgh Oh, yeah. Obviously, there are other benefits in terms of you know the people seeing it and making connections and all those kind of things. But as we said before, doing 28, 28 or whatever it is shows in a row and having that the, 
the, the opportunity to do that makes a huge difference to the development of the show. And it does mean that then when you're coming and doing it in slightly awkward uh, spaces or smaller spaces, like you know, whatever, because every stage, every venue you go, we go to, as you will have seen from footage from our previous tour, is always slightly different. So you've sometimes got more depth, sometimes more width, sometimes you've got a huge space, sometimes you've got a tiny space. And, and once you've done, you really run the show in like that, then it's much easier to adapt to yeah. the spaces uh, when you're on tour. Yeah. So it's nice. We, we didn't really have to do much to this show after Edinburgh. I thought there were going to be a few little repairs, but actually everything survived really well, which was uh, remarkable. The occasional drip from the venue in Edinburgh. But actually it's kind of water the weathered the paper. Yeah, yeah, in it a, looks, in yeah, an it looks kind of fashion. aged it in a nice way. <laughs> yeah. So I don't really think there's that much more to say. Of we've got some little bit of footage from here, which we can we'll yes. add to the vlog. Uh, a couple of little bits and pieces that we'll stick on, and yeah, I'll try and show you the space this way around, just uh, so you can sort of get a sense of what it looks like this way. And then next week, I think, like Nal said, we'll be talking about the other plans that we've got for for this show that are slightly sort of different from things that we've done before. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so as usual, if you are enjoying the vlogs, please do give us a thumbs up, uh, leave us a comment, ask any questions you'd like, and subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the new subscribers, and we will see you again next week.